Welcome to Knicks.com. I am here with the one and only Robin Lopez. Uh, you know, it's so interesting to see your career, where you've gone, and at this point, reaching free agency and being able to sign this deal. What does it mean to you when you sign a deal like this and, you know, secure your future? Um, uh, you know, obviously it's very exciting for me. Um, I just can't wait to embrace a new challenge. I've always been kind of a West Coast guy. I've been played in the Western Conference. So New York City, the East Coast, it's something different for me. I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, talk about that a little bit. You know, you played with the Phoenix Suns, Portland, pretty much all Western area teams. Now you're making the jump to New York. Uh, what went into your decision? How did free agency go for you? Um, you know, I saw, I heard a couple of pitches, and um, obviously Coach Jackson, Coach Fish, I, I liked the, the way they approached it. Um, and just as a personal side, obviously, I got that jackass brother of mine across the river. Um, so I have, a, I have a little bit of experience in New York, but I, I, I haven't really did my toes in yet. So that, that's, what I'm getting, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Well, we heard the shots fired from your brother saying that, uh, I don't know about this pickup by the Knicks. Yeah, you know what? Um, that, that's typical of him being a little bullheaded. Right. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm a little cooler. I'm a little calmer. A little more collected, and um, you know, I, I wish him the best. I, I understand that he's a little jealous, a little envious of the situation I'm in, playing for the blue and the orange. But can't, can't all have what we want. I heard rumors as well that you picked this team because they don't have a mascot, and we know your situation with mascots, where you've been in some altercations over the past couple of years. Is that true? Yeah. Once again, um, <laughs> you know, I, I like to I like to plead my innocence. I'm just defending myself. Um, I don't know what they're thinking there in those giant heads of theirs, their oversized heads of theirs. Um, but I'm, I'm just trying to protect myself and my teammates. That's the way I see it. You think that'll continue this year where you'll be in a battle with those mascots? I don't know. Hopefully I, hopefully I, I got what I wanted to say out there and they got their message, but who knows. Your game and what you bring to the table, can you tell fans what they're going to see this year with you on the court? You know, I, I like to think... I go out there and I just try to um, facilitate for my teammates, help my teammates out, do whatever makes it easiest and best for them out there. Um, you know, I know you hear it from a lot of players, but I'm sure I'm going to go out there. I'm going to work my ass off. I'm going to work hard. You know, it's interesting. We looked at some numbers, and you know, you could say what you want about advanced metrics and all that stuff, but your ability to box out players and allowing Lamarcus these past couple of years to get a lot of rebounds is some of these things overlooked in terms of the actual numbers that you see in the box score and what you, a player of your caliber, is able to do to clear out space, which gets rebounds and helps defensively. I think people get caught up um, a lot of individual statistics, and, and you know, rightfully so, occasionally, but. Um, as cliche as it sounds, I'm far more concerned in the, in the, the, the numbers of the team. Mm -hmm. When you look at this makeup of this team and your new crew here, three new guys coming in, Carmelo in the fold, Langston Galloway, Jose Calderon, and some new pieces that will probably be added soon, also the draft picks, how do you evaluate this team and, and where you guys can go? I'm excited. we got a lot of hard-nosed guys out there. Um, I, think, I think it's important that we have a combination of tough and intelligent guys, mm -hmm. most importantly, especially for that triangle. You've got a guy like Chris Stapps Porzingis. I think he's got you in height right now, and he's 19. I was looking him in the eyes, so I don't know if he has me in the okay. height, but he is 19, so <laughs> yeah, he has a little bit to grow. What do you but think about his game? That's impressive, being that tall and you know being as skilled as he is. I'm excited to see him play. What were some of the centers that you looked up to when you were growing up? I know you're a West Coast guy, but did you were there any particular guys that you looked up to? As I got older, I was a uh, you know I was a Tim Duncan fan. I know more power forward, but. Um, <sighs> It's a funny story, actually. When I was younger, I was a big Patrick Ewing fan. Oh, really? I, I, yeah. I know Brooke told some people that, but um, whenever we would play NBA Live, I would, I would be on the Knicks with my, one of my best friends, Kyle Baxter, and I would be number eight. Okay. And now we have a Kyle on the team, and he's number nine, and that was my guy Kyle's number. So, you know, maybe it's just coincidence. Maybe it's fate. Who knows? It's fate. Let's call it yeah. fate. So off the court, we've heard some of your interests, comic books, Disneyland, all these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you excited about in terms of living in New York and what you're going to be able to do? Um, I know the off comic offices used to be out there. Oh, yeah. um, uh, so I, I'm excited to reach out to those people. I hear um, Bob Iger comes to some games. Excited you know, to po potentially meet him. You know, I think there, there's a lot of opportunities. I'm just so excited to explore the city. I haven't what, had that opportunity yet. And, what comic book is your favorite? What uh, genre? Marvel? DC? I'm a DC guy. Okay. Um, I'm a big Flash fan. Well, the Wally West Flash. Well, there's a Flash TV show coming out, right? 
That's Barry, the, the Barry Allen flash, yeah. Okay. I'm more of a Wally West flash from the 90s, but uh, I, I can appreciate Barry. And in terms of facing your brother, uh, is there any talk of potentially rooming up together? You know, I, <laughs> I heard he was going to put me in the cupboard. <laughs> That's, I, listen, I don't want to start any trouble, but... Yeah, I, you know, I, I heard he was going to put me under the stairs like, you know, like I was Harry Potter or something, but I, I mean, <laughs> people always been jealous of Harry Potter, right? Right. <laughs> And uh, the nickname, sticking with Rolo, is that what we're going to go with? Because we've got to get Knicks fans, you know, I, I on board. A, I have a lot of nicknames. Um, okay. I know it's really up to the fans, but I've been called Rolo, Sideshow Bob, Sideshow Rob. <laughs> Gordon Dragic called me Sponge Rob. Okay. Yeah, Did you just not one. know the name of No, 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 okay. no, no. It was, it was very clever. It was the okay. only time I've heard that. It was very clever. Um, Big Simba, Beast, quite a few. Has there ever been a player on the court that you've been intimidated by? First time I saw Ben Wallace, I remember, you know, I, did, I knew I didn't want to mess with that guy. Obviously, I did eventually get into it, of course. Right. That's just the way I play, but, I, you know, you kind of get that feeling. Can you anticipate what that feeling is going to be like when you step on the court with that jersey on in front of the New York crowd that I know is going to love you and your personality? Honestly, I, I can't, not even, not even to the littlest degree, but I can't wait for it to happen. What's the game plan for you? Uh, I know you're stopping in here, meeting with the new guys, and, and you're a West Coast guy, so where are you going to be at the rest of the summer? Um, got dinner tonight with, some, with the coaching staff, some of the guys. Um, going to L.A. tomorrow, and then I'm going to Japan this week, okay. actually. Awesome. Yeah, Osaka and Tokyo. What are your plans there? Um, you know what? I'm not sure. Yeah, I know I'm, i got to go to the Osaka Castle. I'm going to go to Universal Studios in Osaka because they're the only one with the Back to the Future ride. It's 2015, so... I got, to, I got to get to that ride. Perfect timing. Yeah. Well, it's been great to uh, catch up with you and learn all about Robin Lopez, who's going to be the new center for the New York Knicks. We're excited about it. I know on Twitter, Instagram, we're going to have a lot of fun on social media, mm -hmm. doing some fun stuff on video if you're down. Yeah, you got to try to find my cat on, on Instagram. Your cat, does he have his own Instagram? Yeah. It, it, it's, his right. name's Prince Edward. <laughs> I'm going to have to type out that it's, it's Prince Edward is king on, on Instagram. But. Okay, we're going to get that out to our fans on Instagram, and we'll get it going. Cool. All Thank right. you. It was fun to meet Robin Lopez. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Stay tuned right here on Knicks.com.